Now we're going to cover our first five notes on the euphonium. Okay? Uh, the first note we're going to cover is our F. Now, let's think back to our embouchure and our buzzing video um, when we did our high buzz and our low buzz. The F is going to be executed on our high buzz. Okay, so if you need to go back and review that, that video again, uh, go ahead and take a couple minutes to, to do that and practice on your buzzing. Okay, now the fingering for your F is open. Okay, you're not going to push down any valves when you do your F and we're going to do our high buzz. Okay, that's simple. Okay, here we go. Here is your F. Excellent, good job. So, the next note we're going to do is we're going to go down the scale and play our E flat. Okay, now for E flat, we're simply just going to keep our high buzz, but put down your first valve. Okay, um, so here is your E flat. There you go, good. Uh, let's practice going from our F down to our E flat. Okay, so we're going to go F, E flat, F, okay, and then we're just going to switch between the two. Okay, here we go, two counts on each note. Okay, here is your F. One, two, ready, and play. Excellent. Good job. And if at any time you're struggling to get either your F or your E flat out when you're changing it, just take a step back, practice and isolate that individual note until you know you can play it comfortably and then incorporate it back into the exercise. Okay, the next note we're going to cover is our D. Okay, now fingering for D is one and two. Okay, uh, we're just going to simply put down that second valve. Um, one thing that a lot of beginners do is that they lift up their first finger and then put both fingers down. That's not really necessary. So at, when you're coming from your E flat down to your D, just simply put down that second that second valve. Okay, here is D, one and two. Good. Let's incorporate that into the exercise that we did before. We're going to go from F, we're going to walk it down to our D, and then back up to our F. So your fingering pattern for this is open, one, one and two, one, back up to open. Okay, here we go. One, two, and one, two, ready, open. Two. Um, again, if whatever, if uh, you are running into some troubles with any of those three notes, just take a step back and isolate it. The next note we're going to learn is C. Okay, the fingering for C is one and three. So what we're going to do from coming from D is simply switch your second valve to our third valve. Okay, here is C. Let's incorporate it to the exercise. F, E flat, D, C, D, E flat, F. Here we go. One, two, and one, two. Ready and go. There we go. Good. Let's try it one more time. Um, really focus in on playing the right pitches and making the changes with us. Here we go. One, two, and one, two, ready, and go. There you go. Good job. Okay, the last note we are going to learn today is our low B flat. Now, the low B flat can be kind of tricky because it shares the same fingering as our F. Now, let's think back to our embouchure and our buzzing video. To play our B flat, we're going to have to switch down to our low buzz. Okay? Um, again, the fingering system is open, um, but instead of the high buzz, we're going to go down to our low buzz. And really use your ear as we descend the scale 
make sure that each note that you're playing is lower than the one that you just played. Okay, so here is our B flat. There we go, good. And just for reference, uh, my assistant here is going to start on our F and then go down to our B flat, just so we can hear what the difference sounds like. There you go, good. So let's practice walking down this scale, adding our B flat. So our fingering pattern is open, one, one and two, one and three, open, one and three, one and two, one, back up to open. Okay, here we go. Two counts each. One, two, and one, two, ready, and go. So, if at any time you would like to slow down this exercise or maybe even speed it up, that's okay. Make sure that you practice at your own pace. Now, what we are looking for is consistency in sound. Making sure that each note speaks clearly and make sure that each note is, uh, is being played at the proper high buzz or the proper low buzz. Okay. The last thing I would like to do is uh, do the lip slur exercise that we had practiced with just our buzzing and our mouthpiece. So we're going to be switching from our F down to our B flat, back to our F, back down to our B flat. Okay, so really concentrate on your embouchure. Really uh, think about what you need to adjust in order to get either the F or to the B flat to speak. Okay, here we go, two counts each. One, two, and one, two, ready, and go. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. So we have covered the first five notes on the euphonium. Feel free to make up your own make up your own tunes. Um, with those first five notes, you can probably play something very uh, familiar like Row, Row, Row Your Boat or Mary Had a Little Lamb, or you can create something very unique and uh, very special to you. So again, those are your first five notes. You can click on the link below uh, to view the, the fingering chart for the other notes uh, that the euphonium can play, and just keep practicing.